major victory is in sight for Iraqi security forces who are apparently set to declare victory in Mosul at any moment. This would be a significant achievement for these security forces as Mosul in Iraq has long been an ISIS stronghold. And ABC's Ian Panel is in Erbil, Iraq for us this morning with the very latest. Ian. Paula, Dan, Iraqi TV are predicting victory in Mosul will be declared within the next few hours. Now, here's a most important caveat. We've heard that prediction repeatedly over the last week. But it is true to say that they are very close. They're close to the river. And when they get to the river, then ISIS will have been beaten in Mosul. Why is it taking so long? Well, look, there are three main reasons. The first one is the terrain in the old city. We were down there the other day, and it takes hours and hours just to move a few blocks. That's partly because so many of the buildings have been badly damaged. Many of them have been destroyed. The second reason is the resistance of ISIS. Don't forget they're taking on an enemy who's willing to stand and fight to the death. And the third key factor here is that there are still hundreds and hundreds of civilians trapped inside the old city. They're fighting from house to house, from alleyway to alleyway. They're very close quarters. We were down there with a special forces general. I asked him how close ISIS were to our current position. He looked down at his iPad and he said about 15 yards away. So they have to go slowly to protect the civilians. They have to go slowly because of the terrain. And talking to the civilians, the other key thing we've been seeing is hundreds and hundreds of people coming out of there. They're shell shocks. They've been neglected, abused and worse by ISIS. And for them, they think this is no longer their home, which throws forward to the whole issue of how do you reconstruct. So this morning, it's fair to say that the battle, the victory of Mosul is close at hand. But the victory against ISIS, the war, will still take much longer. Paula, Dan. Harrowing to see the pictures of Ian navigating through Mosul there. Also terrible to see those children. Ian Powell, thank you very much.